Hello guys, you are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSC 2005 guys. Okay, so the given question is let E1 and E2 be two entities of an ER diagram. So E1 is an entity, E2 is an entity. Okay, with a simple single valued attributes. Okay, so they are just having single valued attributes. They did not give any names or anything. They are saying R1 and R2 are two relations in between E1 and E2. So this is a relation 1 and this is a relation 2. Okay, where R1 is a one to many relation. So this is a one to many relation and whereas R2 is a many to many relation. Okay. R1 and R2 do not have any attributes. So, there are no attributes for these relations of their own. So, what is the minimum number of tables required to represent the situation? So, now here they are asking how many tables do we need? So, to be clear, this is one table and this is a one table, right? Yes. So, a minimum of two tables are mandatory. And when we are working with a relation from one to many, you will just update the many side, right? So, for this particular relation, there is no need of any table, right? Yes. But when it comes to relation R2, okay, so here when it comes to R2, it is a many to many relation. So you cannot write it directly on many side anywhere, right? Yes. So that is the reason why here you need a separate table by taking the primary key here from here and taking the primary key from there and making this as a composite primary key and this will be the new table guys. So in total we need 1, 2 and 3. So a total of 3 tables are mandatory if you want to perform this. Okay. Yes. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question, right? Yes. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.